There comes a time in every fisherman's life where the waters he's used to fishing just start getting a little old. Not that you ever turn your back on your local spot, but seeing what else is out there is just good for the constitution sometimes. So the boys of the kicker fishing team took a little journey in 2015, kissed their wives goodbye, took the days off work, turned off their cell phones, and headed down south to Baja, California, or more precisely, down to the Sea of Cortez, their own private Valhalla. From the pristine roads of Southern California to the bumpy loading docks of the Sea of Cortez, though long, hasn't even scratched the surface of what's in store for these professional, passion-driven anglers. Now seems as good a time as any to tell you why we are here. Besides the fact that we love fishing and this is a beautiful place to do it, the Sea of Cortez in this area in particular is home to countless species of fish. But the one we are after is the leopard grouper. Not just the common leopard grouper, but an uncommon subset known as the golden cabrilla, Maestro Opercoe rosacea. Legends and stories from divers being led to the sunken treasure by a magical golden fish. The reason these are so rare is that this genetic change of pigment only happens to about 1 in 2,000 of these regular groupers, and only for a short amount of time. Seeing one of these things is rare, let alone getting one on your line. And that's what we are here to catch. Lorena, the queen. Things are off to a bit of a slow start. Reynolds suggests somebody call the fish, and tell them it's cool to come back to get his bait. Yellow tail. I'm only trying to avoid those guys. Dino breaks loose on one. Probably just a spazzy yellow. Decker is having a time of it, though he lands a small guy. Oh, geez, you little sucker. Patience is a virtue, not a privilege, to the true angler. Hugron takes a minute to add some titanium to his line. If you want to catch the fish of a lifetime, you have to be prepared. Smack! There's one. Benny got bit. Things start to pick up and the boys are loving it. <laughs> Leopards are fighters. Randy is in his usual high energy spirits. It ended up a great day. The team ripe with sun and visions of today's catch. Pack the boats in for the night for another early one tomorrow. Stories of what you caught that day and who pulled in the rarest what circulate the camps. Good night, fellas. Until tomorrow. The boys tossed in some fun lines to see how many spotties they could catch. Decker seemed to be loving this style of fishing a bit too much. The boys found some nature and a nice island to explore. Their exploring reveals one of the issues of this area. The Totuava has been overfished due to its swim bladder being a valuable commodity. You see them here, full carcass washed up from poachers catching this endangered fish cutting out the organs and dumping the evidence just to make a few bucks off an almost extinct species. Boys get back out there to get what they came for, La Reina. Fish on. It's the mother love. interesting job as a pro angler is to prove the size and species with a trophy photo to document and file accordingly. The rules are, 
Try to keep any blood from the picture because it's not cool to hurt the fish. Don't stiff arm the photo pushing the fish to the camera, making it look bigger than it is. Show the bait and rod you caught it with. Try to crack a smile, but don't take yourself too seriously. You don't mess around with these fish. 100 pound titanium wire, 80 pound braid, and they still find a way to destroy you. We've been seeing a couple goldens. He's had one come up on his jig right now, so. One, two, Benny. Yeah, go ahead, Jimmy. Hey, we've had a couple big goldens follow us. Jigs back to the boat here in this stretch, so tell your boys to be ready. Yeah, Roger that. We're ready. Roger. <laughs> An air of patience calms the mood of the boats. It's that time of the day where the shadows are chilled and you're just worn enough to call it. We came here to catch the fish of a lifetime and we ain't getting any younger. The success of the trip already boasts over 200 fish on the clicker for each boat. But now the only click that truly matters is a shiny golden one. Randy did it. He landed the queen. Legend has it that the Pongera said, like, you're not, you're not supposed to keep these fish, you have to release them. It's supposed to bring good karma to your fishing, your future fishing. I'm gonna let her go. I'd say the boys of the kicker team had a pretty successful journey. Between the two boats, they pulled in over 500 fish and only kept eight. Three of those went to Cruz for his dinner table and the rest fed the crew. We aren't the type to just kill fish we don't need. The sport of the catch is important for us. We want future generations to enjoy these waters as we do. So we keep a close eye on protecting this beautiful blue beast. And that makes us better anglers. We live for this stuff. Thanks for joining us on our journey. See you next time. Catching those all day. Okay. Uh oh! Oh! Watch out! Oh, it's on my dick. <laughs> that was a flip of peanut. <laughs>